Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are their future actions towards you? What are their future actions towards you? So whoever it is that you're connecting to in love, whether it's someone you're dating, in a relationship with, or just someone that you're interested in, think about that, that person right now and let's see what are their future actions towards you. I've already picked the cards. Now, this is going to be for the next three months. It's going to cover April, May, and June 2021. Okay, so let's get started. First card we have here is the Six of Pentacles Upright. Second card we have here is the Eight of Wands Reverse. Third card is the King of Swords Upright. Fourth card is the Empress Reverse. Fifth card is the Hangman Reverse. And the last card is the Two of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so let me just take a look here and see what messages I get. For some of you, this person is already involved here with another partner because I'm seeing this six of pentacles here which represents um, having a balanced relationship having an equal relationship but for some reason it doesn't feel like it's with you it almost feels like they are, they have this with somebody else There's a lack of communication here and there's a lack of action. So in terms of action, I'm not seeing this person take action towards you. It almost looks like they are kind of moving away from you, actually. This is when this card is upright. This is a very speedy action card. Moving towards someone at a fast at a fast speed. But when it's reversed, it kind of feels like this person's moving away from you. Um, so in terms of action, it, it almost looks like that's the action they're, that they're taking. They're moving away. They're creating distance here. And they're kind of blocking you, I feel, with the King of Swords. With this sword that this king is carrying, it almost looks like they're creating a, a wall here. They're blocking themselves. They're being closed off. And being kind of cold. And unemotional. This can also mean that they are focused on a business or on their career. On their work for some of you this person is participating in something related to charity because this is a card of charity helping others in need it doesn't have to be that they're in a relationship it could be that they're just engaged in some sort of social group social project or business We have the Empress in reverse, and this is a card of love, and it's a card of relationship. So when it's reverse, it does feel like this person is not really focused on love. Also, their self-esteem can be a little bit low here. This can be a low self-esteem or a low sense of self-confidence. Not really feeling, feeling good with, within themselves. Not feeling like they're at their best, not feeling like they're looking good, or feeling like they are um, like they're not attractive. This can also re represent health problems. They might be um, struggling with their health. But overall, it's like they're not really feeling good here. 
And I feel like they're focusing their attention on being busy with other projects or being busy with work-related stuff or business-related stuff. It's going to be for some of you. <clears throat> it's almost like they're not in the mood for love. They're just not in the mood. I don't see a lot of emotion coming from this person, so they look a little bit emotionally closed off here. A little bit antisocial also, I want to say. With the hangman reverse, I, I actually feel this is a little bit of a stubborn energy. Someone who is kind of avoiding something, avoiding looking at, avoiding looking at something. Choosing not to look at something or choosing not to think about something or confront something. It's like, feels a little bit stubborn, like, um, this is what I think and this is what I believe. And I'm going to stick to that. I'm not going to try and look at things from a different perspective. Which is the hangman reverse. It's looking at things from a different perspective. But when it's upright, it's like, no, I'm just going to see things my way. And the two of swords reverse also feels a little bit um, like stubborn energy. Someone who... Who sees their truth and only their truth. They don't see anybody else's truth. The Two of Swords reverse um, goes back to the Ace of Swords. Which is what this king is holding. He's holding the Ace of Swords here. So it's like... Um, yeah, this person is like... Stubborn when it comes to their communication, the way they communicate. They might be kind of a little bit harsh with their words. And they also might be cutting out um, everyone from their life. I feel like this person just kind of wants to be alone, is what I'm sensing. Like they don't want to be bothered or they don't want to be... Um, talk to they don't really want to talk to anyone it's like they just want to be on their own um, and just do their own thing very solitary solo type of energy here They might be communicating this with the Ace of Swords here. Um, the Two of Swords reverse, reverses back to the Ace of Swords. They might be communicating some sort of truth to you that maybe takes you a little bit by surprise and it's, it's a little bit harsh. But I get this energy of them moving away from you here. And being very cold and just unemotional. Okay, Capricorn. So, yeah, that's everything I'm seeing right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there. So, I hope this um, was helpful to you in some way. And I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye Capricorn.